Kia ora tato. I'm Rob Milden. I'm here at the Te Manawa Art Gallery to talk to John Tarleton, a California-born New Zealand artist whose exhibition How Green Was My Trevally opens here this weekend. So, John, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we're just going to start uh, here and we're going to work our way around the gallery and we're just going to talk about some of the elements of, of John's paintings and some recurring themes and just generally how you go about things. Sounds good. Okay, Sounds good. so now you've got two, two paintings here that are, they've got different titles but they have, they have a link here, don't they? Yeah, there's a, 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 a type of Japanese theme. This, uh, a lot of times I work from an a autobiographical Stance. This was a. These are sort of letters to my daughter-in-law, who's Japanese. And when my when my son uh, went to Japan, and th they're my kind of letters, visual letters to her, explaining how um, naive I am and ignorant of the, of the Japanese culture, and uh, they're tongue in cheek and and quite whimsical. But we have uh, a lot of references to things that uh, only a um, a Western boy with, uh, without any background in uh, Eastern culture would assume to be part of that. Um, along with, uh, those are the, the themes, the themes of those two. And uh, what I do then, uh, technique wise, is I use a lot of watercolor and uh, gouache and ink and just about anything I can throw at these things. and. Uh, I use a lot of text and cut out collage elements and uh, so this was from an old napkin that uh, was from a Gilbert and Sullivan uh, play that uh, I photocopied and then manipulated and photocopied again and, and glued on there. So there's a lot of gluing and a lot of um, traditional sort of painting involved with it. So it's, a, it's quite a mixture. I also use a lot of uh, text to reinforce what I'm trying to, to, to get to. Some of them become, some of them are universal and some of them are just references to me just as a giggle, just as a giggle for me. Uh, no Eat is a reference to a, a, a passage in a, in a more Sindak children's book where someone's being scolded for eating too much. And, uh, and I guess that would have to do with uh, you know, staying away from too many uh, uh, noodles, mm. <laughs> a cup of noodles, which is what we all seem to, you know, students all seem to eat too much of. Now both of the photos, of the, uh, photos um, both of the paintings I've got, I see photographs of Japanese soldiers and, and airmen. You, you, know, you, yeah, you mentioned a sort of a fascination with their... Again, again, it's, it's a... a, a easy referent, it's kind of a lazy man's referent to, you know, to an aspect of Japanese culture. Um, I was fascinated by looking at some of these old photographs of uh, uh, the Japanese uh, soldiers and uh, pilots and stuff during World War II. Um, and so I used that, uh, I co-joined that with a concept of the last haiku poets. Is it, uh, haiku being a, a form of Japanese poetry that's quite, quite well known. So I was interplaying that a little bit and taking the fact that these people, these, you know, we don't know their identity, their personal identities anymore. They just become uh, pictures, you know, faces in a, in a photograph now. So I'm just trying to, to, to relate that concept of, you know, the anonymity of these of these people and and the anonymity of of, of the poetry, um, and so again I will go in there and uh, embellish it with with paint and stuff like that and change it around a little bit if I can. So a lot of that stuff is a lot of that stuff is uh, uh, as I said mani manipulated in, in, in different ways, whether it's through uh, collage or through overpainting and things like that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, now the photos themselves, as well as the other um, collage elements, do you, where did you find those? Oh, I get them right out, of, right off the net. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I take them, off the, yeah, yeah. take them off the net, and then I either blow them up, or shriek them down, or you know, 
whatever whatever takes my fancy with mm. them, you know, to mm. try to get one. We'll see later on on an end of summer poster over here that um, a real uh, a real beating up of the of the of the image, uh, uh, and then re and then photocopying that and putting that back into you know into the picture. So, yeah. All right. Oh, shall we move on to the next? Sure. To the next to, set.